Hello and welcome to this update of a tutorial. Today I'm going to give you an update on my BZIP2 BZIP2 tutorial. Yeah, can't get that out right. Okay, so first of all, we'll just show you where you download this. Go to bzip.org. Pretty simple. And click downloads, and you can download it here. This is if you don't already have it. Okay, so the original tutorial was showing you how to make fast download maps, materials. Well, actually, the first one just showed you maps, but uh, I'm going to extend on that a bit more in this one as well. So once you've downloaded it, I've already got it. It's just here. Okay, so the old way was to go bring up the command prompt and type in the code. Now I've found a way to make, do that much easier instead of having to do all that. Okay, so the first, I'm going to give you a first example with some maps, which I'm just going to copy from over here. Now, as I said, you have to copy them and not you know do this in the actual folder because these maps here once it's bzip to them these uh, uh, bsp files will be deleted okay so i'm just giving these ones as an example you can probably do this with as many as you want but don't do like hundreds at a time because it's just ridiculous okay so all you have to do really is just select the ones you want click them and drop them onto the bzip download and just click run and it'll just do this you can see here it's already starting to put them into the appropriate folders okay and now it's done it's got them all there okay so, but that's not just with maps okay. I'm now going to give you an example with some different models okay so here they are You've got DX8 tiers, DX9 tiers, MDLs, PHYs, physics and stuff. Okay, so what you can do, click them, drag them, and drop them on there, click run. Just like it there. It flashed up a sec, and now they're all like that. Now, uh, I'll give you one more example, I think. Let's get some materials. I don't know what any of these are. Just sort of copy them from a folder. Okay, so again, just click them, drag them, stick them over there, run. It'll stick each one into its own folder. Now, don't put them on the server like this. What you have to do is actually stick them in the corresponding folders. So, if these are maps, you have to stick these in the maps folder. If these are uh, material uh, models, I think these were, you have to put them in the models folder. Now, these materials from there to there, you have to put them in the materials folder, but not just in the materials folder. If they came from a certain subdirectory, in the materials folder and put them there. Put it where the actual material would go, but you'd put these on a fast download server normally. You don't have to. Um, so that's basically it. I don't really think I've got much else to add. You can do so much with this. It makes the servers much better if you've got your uh, downloads, models, materials and stuff downloaded to the client faster because they ain't going to want to wait ages while it downloads. You know, I, if I was waiting ages, you know, I wouldn't do that. And I think you can do this for sounds as well. Uh, give me a minute. Okay, so I've got some quake sounds here, so let's just copy one of those. Oops. Let's see if this works. Yep, there it is. I uh, imagine that would download off your fast download server. So that's it. All quite a lot of your files on the server can be set like this, and it would take only about half the time for them to download as if they were their proper file. So, and you know, it's really quick how all these were done. So, thank you for watching. I hope this has helped you. Please subscribe and look out for future tutorials.